gracias. Bueno, regresando. Ok, taking it. My name is Isaias Garcia. I am from the club UCI July 6th. The acronym is Union of Independent Cooperation July 6th. Uh, it's named after the day the club was formed. The club is from Santiago Coahuila. That state is neighboring of Texas. Shares a border with uh, Perdona, Isaias, un poquito. Isaac, puedes hablar un poquito más despacio. Tricito, gracias. Michael, tu cooperativa. 25 años. My co-op is 27 years old. It's been working for 27 years. We come from a uh, union struggle. We had trouble uh, at a factory at a company where they were firing people. People can't find other jobs, and the only way is to organize was through a co-op. The co-op has helped people get ahead or support themselves in our communities. Focusing on the topic we were asked to talk about, about democratizing of the co-ops and how they can help our communities, we think that it's really important, first of all, not just take into account democracy. We think it should be united with other factors so that it can really be a co-op and that it can really generate change. You have to take into account the education of the members uh, in the new, newly forming co-ops so that the quality or the level of the um, co-op member is actually good and so that it's an actual working co-op and it's not just a paper co-op. Now when the member is well informed and educated, their, their participation will be of better quality. And at the time of electing people participating in meetings or electing members of the um, management in the co-ops or the leaders, the, uh, it will be uh, an educated decision of, about the people who's going to lead us. Furthermore, it's a complete cycle, at least in our co-op. The members who are elected to direct us, we have members who oversee them, and the same members, for instance, I'm a member for six months, since I was six. Since then, and now I'm the worker, I'm the accountant of the co-op. Do our work based on the uh, commands by the other members. And the other members, the monitoring committee, evaluates the entire cycle to make sure there is no errors and avoid bad or misinformation uh, within the co-op. We think that the rules should be clear and they should um, happen in accordance to the way that was established in the, in the meetings and the members should carry those rules. It's a matter of joint responsibility within the co-op and also the members. There shouldn't be a disjointment between the two. We think that with the democratization of the co-op can be done this way, that is not just electing someone and then allow them to do anything they want. But it has to be someone um, committed and thoughtful and committed with the system, the cooperative system. We believe that cooperativism is a way of life, not just a system. But we live within this style of life which is cooperative. Once we have a co-op in this way, it's really is, is easy to relate yourself, associate yourself with other organizations that have similar ends or that are looking to improve our community. We have relationships with um, organizations that defend women's rights and also with um, migrants' rights organizations, which we will be talking about that. We also have um, partnerships with those kind of organizations. We believe that all those who fight for the well-being of a community should be united, not just co-ops, but all those um, areas in which we can create a better community. Are people understanding me? Yes. Okay. Ah, gracias. <laughs> okay.
Ahorita en México, en la Now in Mexico, the co-ops for saving and lending are having a legal problem. We're fighting against our corporation that goes against co-op principles and is looking to eliminate um, the savings kind of co-ops so that the, they can, the bank can keep our members and our members can go bank with them. The government along with the bankers have set a bunch of laws to avoid the growth of co-ops. Now in Santillo, um, creating a co-op for savings and lending is pretty much impossible. You need a lot of money to create a new co-op. And those that are currently in place have those legal problems. And we're trying to figure out our uh, beat those problems. And we all got united in a movement called Ally National uh, Cooperativist uh, Alliance, where we get united, we train each other. We have we hold trainings and we have lobbying with our um, Congress representatives to avoid that these laws um, affect co-ops. We believe that the union of the co-op movement must be in, um, holistic, not just the saving and lending co-ops, the struggling, but also the uh, consuming and serving and services co-op, like we do in fact. We are co-ops of different styles, but we all uh, are fighting for the uh, co-op movement, which is why we think it's really important for us to be in, to be here, be united with the UE, so that the co-op movement be a bigger thing and is not just a national fight, but so that when we um, need support in Mexico, we can have support from another country and vice versa.